Losing code sucks. Ever spent a few hours vibe coding with Cursor and got a near perfect app right out of the gate only to make one little change that just blows the whole thing up? Don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll never lose your code again. You don't need any coding experience. I'm going to show you how to use Git, the tool that professional developers use to save and checkpoint their code. And trust me, if you can prompt an AI, you can definitely use Git. By the way, if you're not familiar with vibe coding, it just means coding your app mainly through prompts. Tools like Cursor and Agent Mode have gone so good, people with no coding experience are cloning apps like Airbnb, Dropbox, and Notion with just one prompt. Okay, these claims are just false. You'll need more than a prompt, and with every prompt, there's a chance that your AI coding agent derails. It's inevitable some parts of the app are going to break. There are many horror stories online, like this person who's worked for four months on a project only to nuke it up and being unable to recover it because they didn't use Git. I'll show you how to prevent that and recover your project to a previous version. Let me show you a nightmare scenario that happens to almost every Vibe coder. So I was in the zone working on a new project with a cursor, code was flowing, everything looked good, but then I tried something risky. I updated the front page styling and then worked on auth. As you can see, the previous version looked nice, but there's probably 10 code changes that happened and then I caught on too late. Thankfully, I was able to go back to a previous checkpoint without any issue and then try again. Now that you know why you should be using Git, you might be thinking that this stuff just seems so complicated. Well, check this out. All you really need are these four commands to get started. Git init, git add, git commit. <clears throat> To get started, you'll want to install Git. You can verify the installation was successful by opening a terminal or a command prompt and typing git dash dash version. When people talk about Git, they say that it's like a tree with branches. But since we're just starting, let's simplify it to one continuous branch. You can think of every point on that branch like a checkpoint or a snapshot that you can go back to at any time. Whenever you start a project, you'll want to run the command git init to set up git in your folder. You can then run git status to make sure it works. In git, these checkpoints or snapshots are also called commits, and you can think of them like a group photo. Before you save, you need to tell git what to include in the picture. You can add the file by using the command git add and then the name of the file. Now comes the actual checkpoint or a snapshot, the commit. Along with that snapshot, you can include a useful comment that tells you what you worked on in this commit. That way you'll be able to remember quickly without looking at the commit itself. Each commit is like a perfect snapshot of your code at that moment. Now that we can make commits, let's simulate a cursor or a windsurf screwing up our code. We've added and removed some lines from our already committed CSS file and then created another CSS file. By running the git status command, we can see that our initial file was modified as well as the new CSS file that we could add. Instead of adding these changes and committing them, we'll reset our entire code base to the previous commit. The command we'll use is git reset head dash dash hard. As you can see, we can run ls and we can confirm that our new CSS file is not here. And the code inside our initial CSS file is back to what it was. Now, I know this must have been a lot, so let's recap how you'd use all of this in a real world situation. First, you'll want to run git init at the very start, just once in the folder wherever your code base is. Then, as you code, you'll hit certain milestones where everything's working perfectly. Please, whenever that happens, that's when you'll want to make a commit. You will first git add all your files and folders by running the git add command, and then take a snapshot by running git commit m with a comment explaining the changes. It could be something as simple as landing page done. Then you can continue vibe coding and doing this until something breaks. That's when you'll want to run git reset head dash dash hard to reset your code base. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, or even share with a friend who might need this. I've also started a community of AI builders on Whoop. We're using the latest AI tools to launch 10 times faster. If you want to launch projects with AI, start your business, or improve your business workflows, then this is for you. You don't need any coding knowledge. We'll be doing office hours, one-on-ones, share useful prompts, as well as more exclusive content on the way. If you're serious about building with AI tools, then check it out. Out.